Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In previous lecture, I discussed about introduction and extraction and isolation of alkaloids. Now I am going to discuss structure and biosynthesis of ephedrine. So first of all, let us see the structure. This is the structure of ephedrine and molecular formula C10H15NO, IUPAC name 1, phenyl 2, methyl, amino 1, propanol. So, how this structure was confirmed? Let us discuss the structural elucidation of ephedrine. As we see the structure, there is an amino group and this is secondary amine. How we can check that this is secondary amine? When we add methyl iodide, it reacts with two molecules of methyl iodide to form quaternary ammonium salt. As nitrogen is already attached with two carbon atoms, so it only add two methyl groups in order to form quaternary ammonium salt. Another way we can find that nitrogen is secondary, we treat ephedrine with nitrous acid. So we get nitroso compound. This is another evidence or proof that the ephedrine contains secondary carbon. There is also an OH group. So how we can check this group? We treat this with benzoyl chloride. As we see the reaction that this H and the chloro group, these are removed and benzoyl derivative is obtained. As there is an H group also present in this uh, in ephedrine, so benzoylation also occur here with nitrogen, so we get dibenzoyl derivative. In previous two tests, we have confirmed that an H group is present, so here we find that OH group is also present as dibenzoyl derivative is obtained. So, upon uh, to find that whether there is an other group present on ring or not, we do oxidation of ephedrine. During the oxidation of ephedrine, we get mono substituted product mean benzoic acid. It shows that there is no other substitution present on the ring. How this benzoic acid is formed later in the lecture, I will tell you. So if we treat this with HCl and heat the structure, then we get methylamine and ethyl phenyl ketone. So all these things shows that the structure of ephedrine must be this. So, so now in the next part of this uh, topic, I will discuss the biosynthesis. So biosynthesis of ephedrine mean bio mean life synthesis mean within living system how ephedrine is synthesized. In ephedra, uh, amino acid phenylalanine, L-phenylalanine, this is treated with phenylalanine ammonia lyase PAL enzyme. So, this enzyme causes deamination of this amino acid and we get transcinamic acid. This after a reaction with coenzyme A, it forms cinnamyl coenzyme A. Then in the presence of hydratase enzyme, hydration takes place and we get this structure. And now hydrolysis takes place. In the presence of aldolase, we get benzaldehyde. Benzaldehyde react with pyruvate. And decarboxylation takes place and we get 1-phenyl propane 1 to dione diketone. Diketone undergo transamination, we get this and this structure undergo reduction, we get cathinone. If we see the stereochemistry, then we get cathinone plus and minus but here, I generally discuss the cathinone then in the presence of phenyl ethanol amine and methyl transferase, PAMT. So this enzyme cause and methylation here. Then we get the ephedrine. 
so ephedrine specifically called stereo chemically to that isomer which is here at this carbon the conformation is r and here is s and overall we can say the minus ephedrine if the both car if at both carbon the conformation is s then this will be called as pseudo ephedrine so this is biosynthetic pathway now i'm going to discuss that how ephedrine is prepared in the laboratory or in industry these are the common method used to prepare ephedrine in laboratory or at industrial level so first mansky method in this method we treat one phenyl one two propane dione with methylamine to get this structure and this reaction takes place in the presence of methanol now this is reduced in the presence of hydrogen and platinum as catalyst we get ephedrine in the second method benzaldehyde react with nitroethane in multiple step in first step we use potassium carbonate hydrogen then methyl iodide to get ephedrine if we see the mechanism potassium carbonate provide carbonate ion which extract hydrogen from the nitroethane and carbon ion is formed this carbon ion is resonance uh, this carbon ion is stabilized by this electron withdrawing group so this carbon ion attack on the partially positive carbon of benzaldehyde and simultaneously this negative charge is neutralized by this hydrogen provided by the bicarbonate and we get this structure now this structure is reduced in the presence of hydrogen and we get this structure and now the and methylation takes place in the presence of methyl iodide so hi is removed and finally we get ephedrine so these are two common methods to prepare ephedrine if we see the uses and applications so ephedrine is used to treat the low blood pressure condition under anesthesia it is cns stimulant and for asthma patient uh we can use ephedrine as it acts as bronchodilator this is all about the structure elucidation biosynthesis and some uses of ephedrine in next lecture we will discuss the structure and synthesis and application of other alkaloid thank you very much